How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, on episode 3 of this setup, we are going to be taking a look at Velkin Tezzeri. Tezzeri? Tezzeri. Uh, on this setup. This one here, like I said in my first video, I believe is the first time we have ever gotten one of these figures of Velkin. Um, not only in just vintage collection, but I think ever, ever. I don't know if he's ever been made in the Kenner line. I'm not too keen on the Kenner line, but I definitely don't remember him from Saga, Power of the Force 2, uh, what was their legacy or anything like that. So, um, I don't know how much of this character's parts are being reused. He is VC288. Oop, 288. Get past the glare there. Back of the box does have a bunch of the reissue Jabba goons, as well as the Denison 4-pack with, you know, as I said previously, reuse as a re-release and Tessic being new towards vintage collection but uh, i'm kind of excited to get this guy open so we could take a look at him um i know a lot of my i i there's one of my local collector friends um he he runs a starbase on instagram um i can't remember the the name of his starbase at the moment uh so i but i will try to get that information on on facebook if you, you guys care to, to know who I'm talking about. But he was super excited to get these figures. I know he bought like two or three of these packs um, for the possibility of customs as well. So you do have these unique characters that were made. But the custom capability of these figures is through the roof. Ah, ha, ha. So he does come with a blaster, but he does also come with a holster. He's the first figure out of the three that I've opened that actually has the holster. Um, so he does have, let's see, I know the helmet comes off. I just don't know how. So he does have his human head sculpt underneath. And he has the double ball joint neck. Ooh, so that means his head will be interchangeable with any of the other characters with double ball joint necks. FYI. Um... So I love that the, the helmet comes off and he has his human face sculpt underneath. The shoulder articulation is pretty good. His T-pose is, is actually great. The elbow articulation, uh, really good for, for bare arms. I'm kind of happy that his elbow articulation is decent. Uh, they could have messed that up, but they didn't. And then he does have two vertical wrist rockers on that. It does look like he does suffer a little bit from the wrist rocker syndrome. If you take a look, a lot has been taken out of his palm on that. Let's see how well he can actually hold his, his blaster in his right hand. That's one thing, if you've seen a couple of my videos that I don't necessarily care for, like wrist rockers are nice and everything, but if they're not sculpted just right, it takes a lot out of the palm and they don't hold their blasters very well. But this guy does appear to hold his blaster really well. Um, upon research on this guy, you know, just for the video, he does not survive the blast on the well, he, he doesn't even survive the fight. He gets um, thrown off his desert skiff and falls into the Sarlacc pit. So he doesn't survive very long at all. He does have the ball joint waist as well as the new updated barbell hips. Little reduced from the, the skirt. Oh, he's got a canteen right there. That's pretty good. I like that. A um, little reduced from the, the overage of his jacket down to the skirt. He does have the thigh swivel. Once again, those new updated knees where they hide the joint. Oh, I'm really just digging some of the sculpting designs that Hasbro's doing. And then he does have rocker ankles. So pretty much best articulation I think they could have given this guy. Uh, they probably could have gave him, I don't know, I don't think double knees is really needed for him, especially where he's a skiff guard. But I am really digging this Velkin. Um, I'd kind of like to get a couple more. Like I said, I, I know I had mentioned some people doing customs of them. But I think I would love to get a couple more to do customs myself. So right there, we have the Velkin, the Tessic, and then the Reese of the new Court Denison. Or the, not Court Denison, just the Denison 4-pack, I think it is. The Jabba Goons Denison 4-pack. And right there, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it with. Hit that like, smash that follow if you haven't already. Please follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And thank you for watching. 